Hey y'all, this is Justin Thursday. I'm gonna show you how to install my them flat sole adapters on a pair of 909s. Um, show how you can use the additional hardware and what other sole plates will fit on the 909 or the 908 with this adapter. All right, sort out these. You don't need to use these receptors anymore because what we have to do, once the adapter's on here, you have to drill holes in the boot to add your UFS receptors, and these are just a little too thick. Get rid of those. You only need half of the original sole plate hardware. So, this is an extra small boot with an extra small adapter. The sizing goes with the boot, not whatever sole plate you're using because it matches up with the hardware and the outline of the heel. Okay, so the T-nuts, they're the same ones that are used for the UFS kits. They just pop right in here. That's it, so they're flush to the top. There's three teeth, so they won't spin around in there and they don't stick below here or anything, so it's a pretty good fit here. See, that'll go on there. And then you just need two bridge hardware receptor things and then four screws. All right, so I just screwed this on here kind of loose or you want to leave it on kind of loose. I accidentally over tightened it. Basically, this will let you move it around just a hair make sure you have the outline all lined up and exactly where you want it. So once you get it there, just kind of hold it in place. Tighten it down. Now these pieces of hardware aren't super great, so you don't want to overdo it, just, just snug. Okay. So that's on there like that. And you can see how this gives it a nice flat bottom there so that other soles, the adapt symmetrics, fit on pretty well. Shadow 2.0. This is an extra small sole and an extra small boot, but it's just a big sole plate. USD carbon in 40 to 42. USD throne dual plates fit on there pretty well. So the first thing we're going to do now that the plate is screwed to the boot is install the UFS receptor on the heel. Now you can also get these on the same item page where you get the adapter. It has a 22 millimeter bolt and an 18 millimeter bolt. So we'll, we're going to take one receptor and the 22 millimeter bolt for the heel and we're going to start there with a 5 16 inch drill bit and just drill right in the center of this hole. Get that on there, 22 millimeter bolt, receptor and the heel. This boot's so small, it's hard to get my hand in here. getting it started to pull that T-nut into the heel. Make sure it's centered here. And just crank that down really good to pull that the teeth of the receptor into the boot shell so that it doesn't spin when you go to undo it. So, this adapter plate also has mounts for the Symmetrix 6 mount system, and I'll be showing you how to do that too. So I line up the UFS hole at the front with the mold line here, and then just mark it right in the center, or make a little circle depending on what's easier. And I'm going to mark it for the 6 mount holes as well. Maybe you can see, oh, I knocked it over. Maybe you can see those dots there. So now, pull this back off. We'll 
drill those three holes again with the 5 16 inch drill bit. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit with an X-Acto blade, just so there isn't all this shaved plastic around the edges. Simple as. Start at the heel again. This time we won't crank down on it, we'll just leave it a little bit snug, but loose enough to be able to move it around. Okay. We'll do the front UFS receptor first in the center hole. Now since it's loose, we can slide it around a bit, make sure it gets where we want it to go. <clears throat> just before you tighten it all the way down, just make sure that it looks like all the six mount hardware is gonna line up. And then we can sink that all the way in. Crank it pretty good. Come back, crank this one. Just to make sure nothing moves on us. I'm gonna take the smaller bolts with no washers to fit into the six mount spots. Another thing to keep in mind, these are the Adapt V4 sole plates that use M6 screws for the six mount hardware. The old soles only used M4 screws. Um, and you can tell by that width being so much wider on the V4s. Put our other receptors in here. Basically just get it close. Once you feel the teeth start to bite, then you can sink that all the way home. Yep, pull that receptor down pretty good. Same thing on the other side. it. Adapt Symmetrics V4 sole plates on a Them 909 boot just with a little 8 millimeter heel adapter there and then a couple of pieces of hardware. It's pretty easy to do. Probably only took me or would take me 10 minutes if I was just doing it on my own so have fun. If you try other sole plates out let me know how it goes. I want to see what people come up with.